Hey, what's up, fellas? We're back out here at White Sands, and we're going to be taking a look at this burner. That's... The other day, we seen this burner right here, which uses a Venturi to pump the gas into the combustion chamber rather than causing a back pressure. And we're also going to be taking a look at that again today. I have some other footage of a spark plug ignition system on that. So that's the two things we're going to be looking at is spark plug ignition and two different ways of pulling off the same job. So we're going to be looking at the back pressures of these devices to see if they're compatible with natural gas. All right, fellas, I am so glad that I bought this little pressure gauge. This thing is really neat, and it is super sensitive. They have many different versions of this. This particular one only goes up to 5 kilopascals on positive pressure and down to negative 100 kilopascals, 101.3, which may be very near to total vacuum. So the cool thing about this is, is I might use it on the control panel to control this burner rather than trying to use a, a voltage meter. All right, so in a head-to-head -head match, the Ventura configuration would be able to pull in more natural gas from a two PSI commercial two-inch line. This is the other unit, and as you can see, we're up to two Pascals. So if we get into some trouble, we will be able to deploy this burner, but I got a feeling the other one's gonna be better. There's nothing wrong with this one, it's just that if I gotta build it again, it's too expensive, it takes too long, and it has to be extremely accurate on the internal portions of the Ventura, or else you get asymmetrical combustion patterns, which could burn out the combustor and all kinds of weird stuff. So it was worth testing it though. I had to know for myself. I don't know if I like the spark plug position the way it is here. It is prone to a, a much hotter ignition. It's a little bit louder, and the customer isn't going to want these big fireballs and explosions, so it's out. All right, guys, so the verdict's in. This is a look at what's inside of this one. You can see we have less holes there than we do on this one here. We're still getting a higher back pressure in this unit with more holes, which means the Ventura system on this one is reducing the back pressure on the incoming gas, which is a valuable asset when you're working with low pressure natural gas lines. However, this device performed so well in that preliminary test, I think we're probably done with this design. There's just too much going on here. It's too hard to make, it's too expensive. It's on the shelf. We will be keeping that in the back of our head if something comes up, if this one can't perform properly because the gas pressure. This thing did extremely well. This here is our internal igniter coil. Might be able to see that go into the spark plug there. See how it's connected to the spark plug. This side here is for our flame rod. This burner will be equipped with some electronics equipment that will shut it down in the event of a flame out. All right, here we go. This is gonna suck. I need to find out if this thing's gonna shock me or not. Trying to test number one. Okay, I'm not getting shocked by touching that. So that's good. Nothing shocking me. All right, man, here we go. This may suck. So we got to shut it down. It's too late. 
I'm disturbing people, but we got to get a quick look at this symmetry. And it has some pretty good symmetry in there on that flame. You can see it's it's pretty much the same all the way around that ring, which is what I'm looking for. I'm turning the camera exposure up and down. But uh, yeah, we got to get a look at this tomorrow in the dark. All right, that's more like it, guys. All right, it's the next day. And we're going to practice some ignition procedure here. We've got to figure out how to light this thing without any loud explosions. This is not how this thing's going to be set up in service. This is just a little test stand I got going here. We do have a spark plug hooked up. Okay, so we have successfully developed an ignition protocol that's working out without any explosions. The key is to slowly move the gas valve into a combustible mixture. So a preset solenoid valve may work, but it seems if you slam fuel into it, it doesn't care for that much. But I think we'll be able to figure this out pretty easily with a simple valve system or some solenoids. Just easing into the fuel gives you explosion-free ignition as the conclusion of this test, and that's what we were looking for.